This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dark Web, by John Was Never. This is an old LOB I've read in the past, but since I read in the past, it was made on my phone, and I think the video still doesn't hold up to this day. So, I'm just going to go ahead and remaster the whole series. August, Wednesday. Something really interesting happened today. At school, Albert Danny was saying some random things as usual, but today, something caught my attention. He was talking about something called the dark web and how you can make really easy cash on it by doing crazy things but there are consequences like people kidnapping or even killing you knowing myself i would obviously go for the gold but the last part really set me off is it really worth getting money i'll just see about this myself the first thing i did when i got home was to get on the computer after some research i found it another thing i found out is that it's not a piece of cake getting that money the first thing I've got to do is sell someone to the black market. And of course, no one's going to want to do that. But I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Ready to go to the North Pole? <laughs> Thursday. $15,000. Maybe it is this easy. I have so much money now that I don't know what to do with it. The only problem is that mom or dad might find out about Manny. Well, first of all, I don't think dad would care at all. So my main problem is mom. Since I had gotten all that money, I guess you can say I'll be paying Sherrod from now on. Oh... Uh. Loopy. Friday. Time to let the secret out. I'm wealthy now. I just pulled out some of my green paper and everyone started sucking up to me. That same day, I went up to Albert Sandy to ask for more advice. With the bit of information he gave me, I'm going to make more than a lousy $15,000. The first thing I did after school was go to Rowley's house. My plan is this. When he's not looking, I'll put up a secret camera, stream it, and see if I get any donations. Let's just say my plan was a success. Saturday. The next day, I checked the stream and it has over 17,000 people watching it. At the end of the day, I had over $50,000. Then, I had gotten a text from someone. Hey, can I kill this kid? Do what you want. He's not mine. Well, also, I'll buy another one from you for 1.5 mil. First of all, if you don't know who James is, he's the guy who sold me money. Second of all, of course I accepted the offer. Who had turned down $1.5 million? Also, who am I going to sell now? I guess I had the feeling of selling Fregly. I don't really care about him, but if it's making me cash, then I don't care. So, I sent James his address. Sunday, I went up the street and hid behind the bushes in Fregly's front yard so I can get a look at this James character. And surely enough, he came. Also, I couldn't make out his details very well because he had this mask on. After he put Fregly in his van, he went down to my house and put something in the mailbox. I went down there and it was my 1.5 million. Monday. School was cancelled today because of the thunderstorm warnings or whatever. So, what else was I going to do all day but some more dark web stuff? I remember the other day, I went to Holly to flex on her, but she didn't care. So, maybe there's a way I can make her mine. And fortunately, there is! And so, I hired a random person off of a website to bring her to me against her will. Seems fair to me. A few hours later, I heard a knock at the door, so I answered it, and I can't believe what I saw. That's when I realized that what I'm doing is messed up. I'm so freaked out that all I did was leave her out there. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Tuesday. Ah, sh I forgot all about Holly. I ran outside and I was too late. Apparently, they thought it was another trash bag. I guess there's nothing to do now. She's gone forever. Wednesday. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Today, I texted James that I was done selling him stuff, but he texted me something that I didn't expect. Meet me behind Papa Tony's. Okay, I know it might not be the smartest idea, but after doing business together, I think I can trust him. Later during the night, I snuck out one behind Papa Tony's just like he said, and there he was. I thanked him for helping me get that money, then I asked him why he wanted me to come here. He said he had something in the back of his van that he wanted to show me. So, he got out and walked to the back of the van. But, as soon as he opened the door, he grabbed the collar of my shirt and threw me to the truck. Talk about bad service. So, now here I am in the back of a creepy guy's van, driving down the road going who knows where. Who knows what awaits me?